Hello YouTube. Uh, today this CD came out. Ow. Uh, long story short, I had to use uh, Target Drive Up to get it because the uh, employee inside didn't want to help me find it. For, I'm going to assume that because he's like, oh yeah, there's a spot. Normally CDs, you put them all out. I'm going to give benefit of the doubt, but you know, whenever I do Google or Target Drive Up and get it, whatever. And so here's the album. Here's the front. Um, the only thing that's not on the front is the sticker that says 35 tracks for 35 years of Megadeth on three CDs. Is there anything else? No, it just says Disc Made in Mexico. So it does have Parental Advisory sticker. We have Vic Rattlehead. Um, all of these missiles have names of the songs, and I'll get to that in a minute. Well, actually, I'll go to the back and show you the name of the songs. So we go from the beginning of Megadeth to current, ending with Dystopia. So we have Rattlehead, Mechanics, Killing is My Business, Business is Good, The Conjuring, which is a song he started playing live recently. He had reasons he didn't want to play that live, which I understand and respect, but he's playing it live now. People are enjoying it. He's enjoying it. It's all good. Uh, Wake Up Dead, Devil's Island, Good Morning, Black Friday, Set the World Afire, In My Darkest Hour, which was written um, after he found out about the death of Cliff Burton and Metallica. He wrote that song, and that's that's powerful it's a really powerful song if you don't know the words or have heard it before holy wars holy instrument do ends the disc and then we go on to hangar 18 tornado souls rust in peace polaris five magics take no prisoners skin of my teeth angry again symphony of destruction that's actually the first song i heard by megadeth and then the whole uh, countdown to extinction album is the first album i listened to um let's see sweating bullets atul Mon. Training Consequences and Reckoning Day ends disc 2. And then disc 3 is Trust, She Wolf, Wonderlust, an album from the Rust, or uh, the Risk album, which I love the Risk album. A lot of people don't, I do. Dread and the Fugitive Mine, Blackmail the Universe, Washington is Next, Head Crusher, Public Enemy Number 1, Kingmaker, The Threat is Real, Poisonous Shadows, I love that song, Death from Within, and Dystopia. And that's th all the songs on three discs. I gotta move stuff around because I have my live stream stuff kind of set up. So we open it up. On the left side, we have a uh, pilot's helmet. I don't know anything about that other than it's a pilot's helmet. He's got his um, gas mask. It looks like the helmet has the uh, ear covers built into it. Let's see here M, Mindbender, A2. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of references. Like, 35 is obviously 35 years of Megadeth. What does that say? Can I get that to focus? No, it's so small. Okay, I'm going to guess that's V Rattlehead, M Mindbender. I wonder who Mindbender is. J Asarian. Who is that? <laughs> and then over here we have all the songs are the missiles. Like I said earlier, we have MD. I'm going to guess it's a reference to the side project MD45. Uh, Major Vic Rattlehead. That's kind of cool. So if we open this up a bit more, so have to move things. So we have "Killing Is My Business" right there. Rust in peace. We have uh, yeah, "Killing Is My Business." Head Crusher. Rust in peace. Just things there. Disc one. Megadeth. Warheads on foreheads. Let's lift that up. That's kind of cool. You can see "Take No Prisoners." Rattlehead. A couple other songs there. Uh, disc two. This is actually a really nice looking album. Some people are like, why is it called Warheads and Foreheads? That's stupid. And it's like, dude, it's a military term. <laughs> it's a military term. Disc 3 matches the uh, the CDs, match the art, which I'm excited to hear these because all these are remastered. They're not just drag and drop from other things. These are just fully remastered. So I took the booklet out. We're going to go ahead and close this so we have a bit more room. So there's the front of the booklet, matches the inside cover. <laughs> Symphony of Destruction is the big one. That's awesome. A Tulamon in my darkest hour. Poisonous shadows up there in the top. Can't quite tell what that says. I can't quite tell what that one says. Um, inside here we have a couple of ships. These look like these were old decommissioned ships. Or planes. Planes, sorry. <laughs> So we got some sort of, I wonder if this is like inside of a jet, like the parts that make it run. So we have Rattlehead Mechanics Killing You My Business, that's from their first album. 
this is who originally worked on it the remastering every, every he gave credits to everyone which is nice see chris Pollan on there see dave elson gar samuelson god we miss gar we think that um uh, dirk i believe is his name dirk dirk the the, the new new drummer of megadeth a lot of us think he's Gar incarnated because it's just crazy watching him. And we have Conjuring, Wake Up Dead, Devil's Island, Good Morning, Black Friday. And it just goes through all the songs. Got another close-up of one of the planes. This looks like where they would load the explosives up. or these are Maybe these are just spare parts. Kind of look like spare parts. We've got some more songs here. Washington's next, Blackmail the Universe. Jimmy Lee Solis, huh? Oh, I think that's when I think there was a album or two that um Junior wasn't on it. If you know Junior's it's David Ellison. He's usually the the bass player for all the all the songs. Yeah, these look like decommissioned uh, airplanes. Yeah, you see there, he's back, David Ellison, Head Crusher. You got James Lomenzo. Don't get me wrong, I like all of them, but I, I like the current lineup. Just because it's... I'm excited to see what they what they do. So yeah, that's the uh, Megadeth Warheads on Forehead CD. Go put this back in here. goes in through the side. There are different versions. There's There's this, there's the vinyl. There's actually a $300 version that includes... Uh, it's this as four vinyls, and then that new um, comic that they made is in there too. I've seen previews, and it looks really cool. I want the comic, but it's kind of pricey. So yeah, that's the Megadeth Warheads on Foreheads. I'm going to go ahead and add this to my collection, but unfortunately I have to take some stuff out. Because <laughs> my collection is just continuously growing. Boom. <laughs> So yeah, I got some other music. I got Dio, Disturbed, Gorillaz, Gardens Galaxy, Lamb of God. I love this album. And I have the original print of their first album. The one I can't find, though, is the hand-drawn art, which I want the hand-drawn art. If you wonder what that is, those are used guitar strings and a guitar pick. So, you know, I got some singles. Got a lot of singles. I'd say the most interesting single I've seen is uh, not that. That's the album. Huh. This. This is a System Has Failed single, Black Mail Universe Kick Chair. I am trying to get all the albums, but it's hard because I want the original prints, not the remasters. So let's go ahead and end this.